Hey you guys, it's October and I want to show you a curious little game called Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 19.6, I'm running on Debian testing. I've got Mango HUD on the top left corner. I'm going to create just a default basic world in Navasgain County and let's just get started. So this is Seven Days to Die. It looks like you start in the same place every time because I've done probably three or four takes of this and it's always started me here. So I want to start doing videos like this, just kind of showing you guys some games that run on Linux. And Seven Days to Die has run on Linux for quite a long time. And in fact, it was one of the first games I actually made videos for on this channel, like way back in 2015, I want to say. So the premise of the game is pretty straightforward. Let me get some of these quests out of the way because one of them involves picking up stones. And as you can see, well, if you're familiar with the game, you have to pick up stones that are on the ground. And I've been having some real trouble finding stones in the starting area. It's like, it's almost like they don't like the area doesn't populate with stones. So I have to wander pretty far away for them to start showing up. So let me get some of the quests out of the way. And after a bit of searching, we got enough stones to make an axe, so now we can get all the stones we want because we can harvest nodes and stuff. So this is going to be a probably two episode thing where I'm going to spend kind of the first day just doing this, showing you guys around the game. And the second day, or I guess the second episode, is going to be showing off the horde. So every seven days, or every, I guess it's defined in the in the game settings, I left everything default. So every seven days, there's going to be a horde. And a horde is like ten zombies or something like that, but they're all strong and they all run. And it gets progressively more difficult as you level. So seeing that I'm level one, this won't be terribly hard. But it's it's an interesting game mechanic, and it makes it makes Seven Days to Die feel more like a tower defense game with zombies as the enemy. I think Seven Days to Die is kind of known as that that zombie survival game, but calling it just like a zombie game or a survival game is is doing it a, a disservice, I think, because honestly, it's it's more than that. It's it's got a lot of like crafting. You can build bases, kind of like kind of like a Minecraft. Everything is a block. There's all sorts of stuff that you can craft. There's a skill tree. So, like, the game has a lot of depth. But I like to look at it as a first-person, a 3D first-person tower defense survival game with some zombies. So the last quest, or I guess thing to do on the top right there, is talk to the trader. And this is just kind of busy work, but I think that it levels you or gives you some skill points. So you can get quests from him and stuff, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to get back to the grind. Can't pick those up because it's too close. Hey, there's our first zombie. So I'm just going to go melee my fists. You can call me Slugger. I'm going to get nice and handsy with the zombies. Might bust some heads off. And there's perks that make you swing really fast. So look at that. Took his head right off. So it looks like at the beginning it always spawns you near this lake, which is pretty good. Because it's nice and easy to defend. We've got like a little camp over there. But I'm going to go there. Looks like this place is called BJ's Gas. Okay. So before we go... Before we go ham on the zombies inside, let's let's level up a bit. Where is the... Uh, there's the skills. Okay. So we're going to do... So we're going to go Brawler. Fury of Blows. So we can swing faster, and I don't remember what else I do. I think it's Master Chef. You can make food, and Sexual Tyrannosaurus. I hope that I hope just saying that doesn't make this a, a mature stream. But that that helps your endurance. Let's go deal with this guy because I know he's going to creep on over and cramp our style while we're trying to clean that out. What's that man? That sensitivity on the mouse is like there's acceleration or something that you can't turn off. That's a locked door. I think the door on the side is unlocked. Yeah. And then zombies will drop down. There we go. 
I need some leather so I can make some knuckle wraps. Somebody over there? Oh, another crawler. We got a party. She's running at me. Wow. Okay, this is going to be our base of operations right here. So we'll put our bedroll down. Uh, this looks like a good spot. We'll make a chest. We'll need a campfire. Let's lock that door, close it. Put you down. Sure. Put all the junk we don't need. I don't really use ranged like it. That's that arrow? Yeah. I guess I might as well hold on to those. Find that stuff in the wild. Okay. Clean up the floor a bit. And I'll I'll search this place when we come back tonight, because this is where we're gonna hole up for the night. Zombies run when the sun goes down, so unless you're unless you're strapping, you probably don't want to venture out at night. Keys down. Crawlers are the worst. Man, I'm running out of stamina again. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. There's another zombie there. Let's go. Actually, you know what? I think that, I think that camp that we that's right there. I think it has a vulture there in it. So we're gonna avoid that. We're gonna check this building out instead. So remember when I said this game had a lot of depth? My favorite thing on this game isn't the zombies. It's not really the tower defense, though. I mean, the tower defense thing is kind of fun. It's actually the exploring. So it's this post-apocalyptic world. That guy's going to be a problem. I might as well put him down with my arrows. There we go. So anyway... Before I was rudely interrupted. This is a post-apocalyptic world, but I mean, it looks pretty nice, right? It doesn't look that bad. We're in the woodland, like the nice biome. There's other biomes that look like a nuclear wasteland, but this one's pretty cool. But like, look at that over there. There's some buildings, looks like maybe a little village on the water. What could possibly be in there? All sorts of supplies. There's probably zombies in there. And that's my favorite thing about the game. Just like exploring. So that door is locked. It's a pretty big building, so there's got to be another door. These houses have these uh, basements with this strange, like, moss growing. And of course, there's zombies down here, but now, now it's, like, dark. A lot of jump scares. You go into a house and zombies drop down. Like, that's my favorite thing about the game. This is metal, right? Oh, it's wood. <laughs> Looks like metal to me. Got some ammo back here. I don't think I'm going to play long enough to actually get guns, but I guess if I find a gun while we're like out scavenging, whoa, what the hell just happened? He like flew out of the closet and fell down the stairs. Broke his arm off. These zombies are pretty fragile. It's like one well-placed punch takes the guy's arm off. All right, let's look for leather. So this is just like armchair. This is, oh, that's unlocked. Okay. Whoa, hello. <laughs> okay, that was strange. Getting kind of worried I'm gonna end up boxing myself in, have zombies sneak in behind me or something. Man, I really need those leather wraps. I guess I could just as easy find leather from animals, but uh-oh. There we go. Got a pile of zombies down here. So I've made it to the front door, and no other zombies have fallen from the rafters or come out of the closet. So let's go ahead and start rummaging. The kitchen didn't have much, but... If I had a wrench, I could break this down and get pipes out of it. That's pretty cool. 
Sometimes there's stuff behind. Hey, there you go. Nothing. And then, there we go. I came in here and then I was rudely interrupted. I'm just like punching glass. Just bam, with my fist. No damage, just punch the glass mirror. Got some bottles. A little worried about vultures. So when you take a hit on here, there's there's always a chance. What? Wow. Like the whole side fell apart. There's always a chance that you can get an infection. And it, getting an infection isn't... It's like literally an infection. It's not like a zombie sort of thing. I guess it could be. But it, it acts more like just an infection that you need antibiotics for. Oh, there you go. I don't have any range stuff, though. I guess I could make some. Oh, I do. I have arrows. Alright, here we go. Oh, I should have been crouching. What a waste. Get some sneak, sneak attack damage. There's one. And that's two. I think that's everybody. Alright, anything behind there? No. Let's open it up in here. Oh, it's boarded up. Oh well, whatever. Let's get the rest of the stuff here and move on. Shotgun Messiah? What do we got? Iron Breaker mod. Ooh. So I, I don't really use armor, so let's grab that and see if we can mod our... Oh, heck yeah. We can probably break this even faster now, huh? Alright, let's... Oop. Let's get out of here. Ah! Go out the way we came. There's probably more stuff in here, but eh. So it's 1500. The sun goes down and the zombies run fast at... What is it? 2200? So it... it you might think that you have less time than you actually do, but the zombies only run between 2200 and 5... Like 5 a.m. I think. So what is that like 10 p.m. to 5 a.m.? Which honestly isn't very long. I guess we could go over to that that little like camp over there. I'm gonna see if we can't sneak up on it. Let's get some arrows. So where does he come from? You can see things like popping in. I've never had the bird kill me. It just infects me. And I don't have any honey or anything that can fight off the infection. But it's not that big of a deal because we're not going to be playing that long anyway. Alright, I'm at the camp and I don't see him. I've been here a couple times before, and he's always here. Zombies creeping up on me. Oh, there he is. Oh, one hit? Oh. Well, okay. Most of the enemies you can't harvest, but for some reason birds you can. Probably because they drop feathers, which is like a really useful component, crafting component, I guess. Knock, knock. Alright, let's let's round the crew up. Let's just get everybody get everybody together. So we got one, two, three, four. Make that five. There's one. Look, we've got our own little parade. Sure like those leather wraps right about now. Ah, reload. What's going on? Okay. Didn't I have two arrows? Yeah, I have arrows. I don't know why I had to switch back to them. Okay, there's one. Two. Oh man, the aiming is aiming is rough. Yeah, we're just gonna box. 
Can I have that arrow back? Thanks. Alright. And that leveled me. Cool. Now I feel like we're missing one. Somebody got left behind, didn't they? So that's empty. That's empty. Oh, it's you. Wake up. And now go back to sleep. Cool. And now this camp is mine. Is there anybody else cruising around? I thought I saw a zombie over here. Okay, he's going the other way. Cool, okay. So let's go ahead and scavenge. Scavenge and scrap and... Do all of this in peace. Oh, we got food. Uh, lockers that have already been looted. Weapons bag. Uh, just... Just a bunch of stuff I can't use. Got a tank top, 31 bucks. And let's see what is in the shotgun messiah crate. Uh, level 2 bow and a blunderbuss. Okay. That's good. I'm going to hang on to that stuff. Well, let's just drop this because this is better. Okay, so let's hang on to all this stuff and we'll, we'll go through it all when we get back to the camp. Or not the camp, I guess. Like the little boathouse thing we're living in <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this camp so I've got easy supply of firewood it's good stuff and that only took us an hour of game time so uh, I've got a lot of stuff I guess let's go home and do some inventory management so we've basically put everything that we've got back into the chest and then we're going to head out and find the next place to loot. Because we've got, what, three hours left? A few hours left. So there's another building just down way from the camp that we hit up. We're going to check that one up. And that should be just enough time to scavenge and then come back, settle in, and wrap the day up. Here it is. So that's our little house. The, the camp with the tents was right there. And then this is like a weird little A-frame. I think the inside is really similar to that last house we, we went through. So let's try the back first. There should be like a basement area. No, there's not. Okay, so I was completely wrong. Anybody inside? Yep, there's a zombie right there. Do I have any arrows? I do. Let's see if we can get a sneak attack. I bet I could bust this open before. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's see here. So we'll crap. Oh, now I can't even see him. Nah, okay. Let's hop up. These zombies don't have very good hearing. Oh, I woke him up. Oh, well. Hello. Come on out. Okay. Wasn't too bad. Might as well go in the window. Nice. A lot of good stuff here. I don't have a ton of time. Think It'll take me about a half an hour to get back, so I bet I have just enough time to loot the first floor and then head back. Got this little secret medical pile. I'm going to close the door. Not that that's going to do me any good because if they bust through the door I'm stuck in here. But Got a toilet with some murky water. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> okay. Get some coffee. Meow chow. Everybody likes to eat cat food. I can't tell if that zombie is above me or just outside. Old stove. Give me a cooking pot. Nothing. Oh, cornbread recipe. That's good. Without a cooking pot, it's going to be hard to make stuff. Old sham sandwich, my favorite. Alright. 
Where is that? Are you out here? You are. Whoa. Uh, he's having a hard time with the stairs. To be fair, I am too. So let's just box down here. Man, he's seemed like he was running. The zombies get stunned every time you hit him, so... At this level, anyways, I, I bet the zombies are quite a bit... Quite a bit more resilient at higher levels, but... Spear Hunter. Nice. Do a bit more damage with spears, I think. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock. Had just about enough time to go through the first floor like I thought. Lots of food, excellent, okay. So I don't have a grill or a cooking pot, but I have a ton of canned food, so that's good. And I still have a bit in my inventory. Let's break this down, rid of some junk, and let's take a peek. See what's doing down here. Okay, just zombies. Wouldn't want to wake the dead. And then up here is just... Actually, it's really small up here, which is nice. This bed might have a little leather. I'm going to see. Uh-oh. Whoa, she came upstairs fast. Oh, that it's like that tweaker dude. Uh-oh, I have a laceration. I'm trying to use the bandage... <laughs> I'm like bleeding out and he's just holding the bandage in his hand. Like, what do I do? Um, I don't know. Should I take these guys? Oh, he just jumped off the... Oh, there's four of them? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to leave you guys behind. Let's head home. You know, I realized I forgot to pick up the corn that's here. I think you just punch it. Yeah. You just walk up to a corn plant, you punch it. Excellent. So, in, in retrospect, there's probably more stuff here that I could break down like this. This isn't giving me anything, though. Maybe I need a wrench? I don't know. It's been a while. Four iron. So, I, I could probably come back here and just, like, demolish everything. I know you can get cement out of some of these. So, this won't be the last time we visit that, that little camp. Home sweet home. Let's drop everything off, and I just realized that I haven't actually, like, scavenged here. <laughs> I've only come here drop off to drop off stuff and then, and then went back out, so let's... We've got a little bit of time, so let's, let's make some noise and scavenge. Get some lake water. And you can't get into these things. Janitor's cart, some wood, okay. How about a barbecue? Oh, a grill! Nice! Does this have leather? It does! Alright, okay, so now we can make those leather wraps. Oh, that's weird. Let's make sure we have enough, though. I think it's five. And I've got five now, right? Oh, I don't. Isn't, it's called knuckles or something like that. Knuckle wraps. Hey, there it is. Darn it, I should have done this before I, I went out. That was silly. Boom, there you go. Ready to take on the world. I'm going to leave these rusty barrels. Because I think that they just give you gas. And I don't really need... I don't have anything that requires fuel at the moment. Aloe vera? What the hell is that doing out here? Coffee? Somebody just left a like a jar of coffee out there? And that's it for the outside. So I'm going to need to replace this door. Start hacking on this. Nice, the upgrade came in handy. Made short work of that door. Let's make another... You know what, let's make two and let's break this door down too. Okay. Oh, 
I, I always put them in wrong. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's supposed to open to the inside. I'm not sure how to actually take it off. You can lock it. You can put a code lock on it. But I'm not sure how to remove it. Fix it up. Was there anything else we were going to do? I think this might be it. I, I didn't hear the scary music play. Did the zombies run at 2300? Oh well. We actually need to scrap... Is that the scary music? A little belated, but okay. Let's put you there. Oh wow, that's bad. Uh, maybe here? Yeah, that's better. Okay. So let's go through these lockers and these bags and beverage cooler. Maybe the garbage. And that is all. Let's put the grill in the fireplace. And I think that that is it. Put that puffer coat on. Uh-oh. Somebody's out there. Yep. Is it because I put the torch up? I'll take the torch down. You guys want to see a fast-moving zombie? Look at him run. Yep, there he is. Let's see if we can take him from behind. Knuckle wraps coming in handy. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's hide away. And we may or may not pick this up next time on day seven for the horde. It's just a matter of whether or not I want to play and whether or not you guys want to see it. I mean, it's a fun game. I'm playing it for Halloween, like October spooky month. So let me know if you guys want to see a bit more of this. It's a fun game. It runs great on Linux. As you saw, there was no like frame rate drops or anything. It's run on Linux for forever. It's not like Rust where it ran for a while and they took support away. Like it's always run well on Linux. So that's cool. The developers are the fun pimps. So I don't know if they have any other games that I know they're working on a couple games, but um, seven days to die is fun. It runs well enough, it runs on Linux, so I guess that's a reason to keep an eye on their games in the future. That's going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching, folks, and I may or may not see you in the next one. See you later. <laughs>